Hey everyone, I'm back with another video for Japan haul and this is my miscellaneous Japanese slash omiyage haul and um, the reason why I'm trying to do this so quickly is because we're gonna go over to my mother-in-law's house and I wanna show you the stuff that we got them but I don't know if I can because some of it is wrapped anyway, um, let me just kinda I'm just gonna go random it's like not in any particular order Okay, this is um, a toy we got at Tokyo Hands for my doggy, and I didn't realize that they had um, pet stuff. So we got a taco because it looks like it looks Japanese. <laughs> so this is for my dog. One poor thing, she was like waiting for something from us as we were unpacking, and we're like, where did it go? And we finally found it. So this is the taco for Kiki. And then, oh, this I did not buy. This uh, my mom bought for me. Her and my sister were at 7-Eleven, of all places, and they found these laundry bags um, that you can put your delicates in and then you throw it in the wash like that. And then it doesn't mess up your other clothes or it doesn't... It still gets washed, but it's like protected in the bag. So I think it was a dollar. So she ended up buying like, I don't know, three or four of them. So that's mine. Um, this is wrapped. <laughs> in Japan, they wrap everything, especially if they know it's a gift. Or they give you like a bag. Um, this one was from Oriental Bazaar. And we wanted to get something nice for my mother-in-law. Um... Because she watched my daughters, my dog and my daughter, um, while we were gone. And um, we wanted to get her something a little bit nicer than what we got for everybody else. Because she did a lot more for us. And it's actually a Japanese jewelry box. Um, a lacquer one. And I think the one that we picked was a cherry blossom look to it. But sorry, we don't want to unwrap it because it's wrapped so nicely. So um, we'll just give it to her like that. Okay, um... Um, 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 I don't know. I have so much stuff to share. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's do this one because this is for Bachan, which I had unwrapped earlier. So I'm going to just unwrap it again. Um, I had done a video earlier um, trying to do my hauls, but I decided to change it and just do these other videos instead. Not sure. Um, I think that I'm going to go with this route. Um, we found, and look how nice the box is. We found this um, in a small town of Nar in Narita where it's nearby the airport. And we had decided to go there because we had to pick up my sister from Narita um, the second day that we're there. Or the second, first full day that we're there. So while we were there, um, I saw this particular, I don't know what they're called. I'm not, sorry, I'm not Buddhist, but um, they use the prayer beads and my husband's grandmother is Buddhist and she has some and I thought she would like this so we got her this one it's beautiful first time I ever see pearl kind usually they're like plastic beads um, and I like the tassel color so I we got her this one hopefully she likes it mm. okay, so I need to wrap that back up before I give it to her Let's do that after. Okay, let's see. It's like surprise, surprise time. <laughs> oh, okay. So I found these cuties in um, a shop. I think it was called Kyo... Kyo... Kyo Kyodo. See, Kyo Kyodo dot Kyo dot JP. And it's, um, it was a store in the Skytree Mall. Um, if you ever go visit the Sky Tree, they have a shopping mall right below it, and this was a store in it. And my friend Susan, who goes to Japan frequently, had told me about this store in Ginza, and we never made it to the Ginza one, but I did see the one in the Sky Tree mall, and it was it's a nice store. Don't get me wrong, they had a nice washi too, but um, this is what I ended up buying from them. So I got the frog, and I got the cat, and I have the bunny already. Um, from a previous trip so I'm gonna put the three of them together so that's all I got from there they had other cute stuff too but we have been shopping like all day so I think I just was like I bought a lot of washi and stuff already so okay um, 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 um what else oh this is a weird 
gift, but my coworker who helped watch um things for me while I was gone, she's into playing darts and I know she told me that they play darts with people in Japan um through this game board that they have I'm so out of it, I don't even know. But while we were at Don K, we found these um dart heads and I thought they were pretty because they had like a sakura kind of look on it. So I decided to get that for her. I don't know if she'll like it, but I got that for her anyway. Um, oh, we also found the Totoro store um, in Asakusa in Nakamise. And this um, this is the only real Totoro stuff I bought about that. And I bought some, one more thing. Um, but we had bought... It's like a noren. See how it's like the curtain that you hang over your doorway. And we had bought one last time... Um, and I didn't realize that it was a season one. So the one we got was the fall season. This one is the Christmas or um, winter. They also have summer and spring. So um, I already have the fall. So I got the winter. Maybe next time I go, I'll get the summer. Because the summer one was cute too. It had like fireworks and stuff. But anyway, this is the design. It has Totoro with um, a Totoro snowman. So I got that. Mm. And maybe I'll change it out and I'll be seasonal like the Japanese. <laughs> okay, um, next I went to. That's not it. Okay. Mm. I went to Asakusa Nakamise with my mom and my sister, and um, they were asking about Kanzashi. And I had bought my mom a Kanzashi set like this earlier. Um, and it comes with several flowers and this is one of the nicer sets that I found there and it's not cheap like I think this set was like 30 almost $40 for one set um, But the flowers are gorgeous and so I showed them where I bought it last time and My mom had picked out. I don't know what she she bought some and then my sister bought some and I ended up buying a set for each of um, my nieces and my daughter. So my daughter, of course, picked blue because she just likes blue everything. So that's the one she got. And then I picked up three more. Um, again, I have two nieces and I probably will keep one set for myself. So I think this is the set I'm going to keep for myself, which is like a lighter pink color and cream. I love it. It's beautiful. And then this one is a little bit more darker pink or reddish with the cream. And then I got the lavender. Or the purple so those are gonna go to my nieces um, I think I'm gonna give it to them when they come to visit us during the summer because they're gonna come like in July so I'll give it to them then and then I got this um, for my brother and I hardly ever buy him presents because he's kind of hard to buy for but I saw this and I thought of him it's a tie like a men's tie Let's see and I saw it in the Nakamise um, shopping area. And he is a doctor, so he wears ties to work in the mainland. Um, and I, I liked this one with the koi on it. Um, we actually saw some other nice ones, like with cherry blossoms and stuff. But I felt like this was a little bit more masculine. And my mom says he likes to wear interesting ties because... Um, when he goes, I guess when he has kids, that pa kid patients that come to see him, then they like to look at his ties. So I got him that one. And it's very Asian. And I like the color. It was a dark, like a dark blue. Oh, so that's for my brother. Um, when we went to Mount Fuji, I was so happy because I really wanted... Whenever I go to like an area that I don't usually visit, like you know, not Tokyo, um, I like to try find something specific to that area. And so... Hello, we're going to go see Mount Fuji. I wanted something with Mount Fuji on it. So um, in the gift shop, I found this. I'm so happy. It's a kawaii Fuji-san. Look how cute he is. So as soon as I saw this, I'm like, that's it. I know I'm going to buy that. So I bought one for my office because um, in my office at work, I have like a whole bunch of Japan stuff. And then I, I really wanted the, the small one too. So I got both. <laughs> this one you can dangle from your bag. And then this is the big size one. And then the other thing that I got in that area, it's not actually from Mount Fuji, but it was in the Hakone area um, at the train station was this, I, I didn't know what that meant, but I saw this guy and I thought he was so cute. He looks like a mochi. So I just, it was a impulse purchase. I, he, he was really cute. And then if you put your fingers underneath, he lights up. 
and he turns colors. So I guess that, that that's what that means. Anyway, I just liked him. I thought he was cute, so I bought him. Okay. So that was in the Hakone slash Mount Fuji area. Um, we got this book for my daughter. I can't even remember where. I want to say Toki Hands, but I'm not sure. But um, she likes origami, so my husband got that for her. Um, oh, this is... We got this in Narita, and this is, if you look here, it's a ninja hood. <laughs> and we got that for my nephew. So, and my husband was playing with it already, so. But anyway, I thought that that would be fun for a kid. And he's only like seven, I think. So, we got that. Oh, we also got this for him. We found a Pokemon store at Character Street, which is in Tokyo Station. And they had the Master Ball. So, apparently, the purple one is the Master Ball, and like, I guess it's hard to find. So we got him that. Um, oh, this is the other Totoro thing that we got, which is a deck of cards. Because my daughter and her friends are into cards now. And I thought that it was cool to have like all of the um, different characters on it. Um, oh, <laughs> this was a spur of the moment impulse buy. I saw a video playing at... Um, Don K in Ginza and they were showing that if you use this cream or gel and you put it on your feet it will help to get rid of all of the problems you know the dead skin off your feet and I always have a heel problem so I'm gonna try this and see if it works and if it does then probably every time I go to Japan I'll pick some up but this is the first beauty product that I've ever um, purchased from Japan I know a lot of people do Japan beauty hauls but I have no idea like what to get so and I don't know what each thing does because I don't read Japanese so that's why I figured since I saw the video that this is pretty safe and I actually took a video of that video so I know what you're supposed to do so hopefully it works um okay I don't know exactly why my husband bought this but this I guess if you watch um I don't know if it's Kiku or and NHK or whatever but um, this is season 13 of a show that my daughter watches with Bachan <laughs> called The Partners and I don't know why he saw it and then he just thought it would be funny to buy it for her and it's like a sleeve where you can put paper um, okay I'm back from choking <laughs> okay so the next thing that I got my husband picked out is really cute it's like a bento box and if, if you look closely her hat is a chawang, um, which is like a rice bowl. And then these are separate bento containers. And then it has like a strap. So he really wanted to get this for his mom, which I thought was really cute. Um, but there was also like a boy one, which is like a samurai. And that one was really cute too. But we found this at Oriental Bazaar in <clears throat> Harajuku. But um, I've seen it in other places too. Like it wasn't exclusive to over there. Um, this I bought for my husband because he didn't want to spend money and get it, but I thought it was cool. They look kind of Japanese-y because they're small. Anytime you have a regular size um, action figure and then they shrink it down and they make it small and they make the head big, it's usually Japanese. So I thought these were cool action figures. Um, so he said that he's going to share with my daughter. Um, oh, okay. <clears throat> This I got um, in, where did I get it? Shimojima. Shimojima is um, like a stationary kind of store and they are the parent company of Heiko. So if you live in Hawaii and you've heard of Heiko, you know what I'm talking about. They have a lot of like plastic bags and paper bags and other stationary items. Excuse me. And um, they... It's just cheap. So we had gone to the one in Asakusa Bashi, which is near our where we stay. And um, I wasn't sure if my mom and my sister would want to go, but I just brought them anyway. We walked there and um, I got a ton of other stuff that I'll do another haul on. But um, I, I also got these and I, this is like gifts for my friend's daughter who likes erasers. And my my daughter also asked me for erasers. So... 
these are like food eraser sets um i thought this was cute because it had like the matcha and the um the what you call the pancake thing and the mochi and stuff like that so my <clears throat> i wanted to get like japanese kind related so i got two of those one for my daughter one for my friend's daughter and then i found look it's like the conveyor belt sushi i thought that was funny and then this one is like i think it's chinese food because it kind of looks like dumplings and stuff <clears throat> so i got those and then it was a little bit cheaper there than where i saw other places and then they also sold the um individual ones so i got these and they were only like 30 cents each so i got shave ice which is the red and the blue <clears throat> and then i got the drinks the grape and the orange and then i got macarons in the pink and the green so that's for my <clears throat> again for my daughter and my friend's daughter because they like Japanese erasers and it's not cheap you know when you buy it here and it's imported <clears throat> they they run kind of expensive so we got a good deal on that okay um next we have the goodies I got from Nakamise so I found these cute bags um and i like it because it's like sakura looking um i really like the white one but i'm worried that it's gonna get dirty i got the black one too um it will most likely end up being gifts for people i don't think that i'm gonna keep them for myself although i really like them but um i usually just buy a whole lot of extra gifts just in case i forget people or i'm not sure how i want to package it or whatever so i just buy like a ton of things and then i kind of separate it and figure out how i'm gonna give it away okay the other things i got <clears throat> oh this wasn't in nakamise this was in narita just so happened we were passing by one of the stores and i found the cutest sheep ever and my niece is a water sheep like my mom um and so we wanted to get her um year of the sheep stuff and it's hard to find and this is year of the sheep but it's hard to find um <clears throat> cute sheep so because i found this i thought oh, i'd get that for her and then <clears throat> oh, okay, this. That's not gonna okay, so oh, this is the other thing I got from that same store. It's so cute. Look at that bunny, and it's like a um sakura. It's like a mobile that you hang. So I got that, and then when I went to Nakamise, they had <clears throat> more of those that I bought. So I got this one. It's like a boy and like mochi and a girl and a flower and then i got this one which is i think that's like a musubi or a mochi and then it has the koi and then it has the samurai helmet and i got this one which is cute it's a strawberry a bunny and then this cute little girl <clears throat> and i also found that same little girl or similar she's so cute in a shop in Narita um, I think they mostly sell a kimono or a fabric but I, I liked her so I just got her um, at the same shop where I got all the mobiles I found this mobile which is so cute it's the boy and girl and it's in a flower ring and then these things hang down from it sorry it's still in the packaging so it's not quite like on display and then I found this one which I thought was really cool it's the Tsuru. It's his beak. Oh, his beak is like bended, bent. Okay, and then hanging from him are like lucky charms, like the turtle, the eggplant, and some other items. <clears throat> these are the first times I got these. I never found these before. <clears throat> um, then when I went to go buy my washi paper, I found this at. Um, one of the stores in Nakamise. It's one of the first stores as you walk into the Kaminariman area, which is the huge um, lantern or chuching. Um, they call it Kaminariman. That's the name of it. But there's a store on the side and they sell washi paper, which I will share with you in another haul. Um, but they also have a lot of paper crafts and stationary items. And I found this, which is really cute to display um, probably at work. I like that it has these things to hang from it. <clears throat> so I got those and I also got this 
It's so cute. And this is the one you hang as well. So I asked the lady what this was. I thought it was a like a maneki neko. And she's like, oh no, it's a dog. She's like, inu, inu. I was like, oh, okay. It's so cute. I don't care. <clears throat> so I got that for myself. And I think, is that it? Almost. Okay. So this is Mimi Pochi. It's so cute. I got the cat this time. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just wanted to get it. I don't know if I'm going to give it away. I have a feeling I probably will, but I'm not sure if I'm going to give it to yet. So it's going to be a surprise to that person. Uh, but it's basically a coin purse. I have the polar bear one, which I'm glad I got because they don't have it anymore. But the ears is like um, the the place that holds the purse together. So when you separate it, and then it opens up and then you can put your coins inside. It's so cute. They had other cute ones too. Like they had a panda and they had um oh they had all kinds of stuff but i like i like this cat the best he looks kind of japanesey to me <clears throat> and i will share this goodie in the, another post because they're they're super fun okay so that is my japan haul um of miscellaneous japanese type goodies slash omiyage for myself and for other people i have another um few more videos to make i need to do a sanrio haul i need to do a, a disney haul which includes a lot of zoom zoom stuff that i found <clears throat> and i have a craft haul so be on the lookout for those videos and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Sorry, I'm back with something else. I forgot. Um, okay, so when we had gone to Ashikaga Flower Park, um, we we had like literally five minutes to look around. And like I told you, I like to go get stuff from that area or things specifically that you can only get there. <clears throat> so hopefully this is, but I think it is. Um, I found these. It's, it's beautiful. It's like a um, drawstring bag and it's like hand embroidered wisteria because that's what they're known for. So I, I picked up one of those and I also got one of the um, like cosmetic bag kind of thing. And it's pretty reasonable. I think it was like only eight bucks for each one. So I it's basically the same design. It's just that one is the cosmetic bag and one is the drawstring bag. And I will likely give it to my friends. Um, I'm not sure, but I might keep one of them for myself just so I remember that I had gone to the Wisteria. But I think that's it. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.